continuing on my exploration of fountain pens, I guess it was inevitable that I would explore Mont Blanc. Uh, so I got myself a Mont Blanc 145. So a little bit of history about Mont Blanc 145. I, I'm not an expert on Mont Blanc in any way. But uh, preceding this model, there was the 144. And uh, there were probably, you know, after this model, I think it's been referred to as the Classic, right? So it's, it might be the smallest of the Meisterstück line of pens by Mont Blanc, but it, uh, from my use of it for the last few weeks, it definitely doesn't perform as the smallest model. So let's take a quick look about this pen. So it's, uh, it's definitely a diminutive size for a pen. Bringing in uh, my, you know, my 3776, it's just scarcely longer than the 3776. And the 3776 is definitely girthier, right? So it's a very slim pen. It's a very elegant pen. And comparing it with another of my Mont Blanc pens, which is the 164, if I believe, uh, if I got the numbers correct, it's nearly exactly the same length as that pen as well. And the 164 is actually, uh, this is not actually a 164, but it's a very old model um, that before they took the 164 name, I believe. So, Size-wise, it's pretty small, right? Um, so looking at the the rest of the pen, the just from the exterior and just by feeling the the resin that they use for this pen, it's it feels different from let's say bringing back the three seven seven six. I think Mont Blanc actually applies kind of wax finish or something to make it kind of feel different from the other fountain pens that have this type of standard um, black resin finish. The other thing that you will notice about this particular model is that this is the platinum, they call it the platinum finish. It's, I, I'm sure it's not exact, you know, um, actually platinum, but it's just the, the white finish, right, that they applied to the, the very shiny bits down here. So looking at the whole pen, I guess we have to start with with this, which is the um, finial, and there you see the the Mont Blanc star, the six pointed star, and you get a very nice cap. Actually, the caps have not changed from long time ago, right? So it's still the Mont Blanc cap. Um, it's one piece all the way down here. And on my particular model, you know, you get the word Germany and you get the serial number shown here. Underneath the, the clip, you can't really see it. It actually says PIX. Um, and that's one of the ways, not the, and probably not the safest way, but that's one of the ways to kind of see whether or not it's a real Mont Blanc pen. On the band, you get the word Mont Blanc, Meisterstück, Pix. Um, it doesn't say 145 anywhere. And it has these two silver bands down here. On the bottom of the pen, you get another silver band. And there's nothing um, at the bottom of the, the, the barrel. So opening up the pen, um, just feeling the, the cap, it's not... I guess a lot of the weight is probably located here. It's not very light, but um, it helps as I will explain later on when I'm do a, when I do a bit of writing. Um, the actual barrel of the pen is very slender and very um, it's super small. I mean, as you can see, when I hold it without posting the cap, it's it's you know it's very short. Um, and you know looking at the section area it's 
It's reasonably long, decently long, but it's very, very, very slim. Um, opening up the, the barrel, it comes with a Mont Blanc uh, labeled or branded converter. It just says Mont Blanc Germany down here. And the, that's the reason why I chose, but before I forget, um, there's, a, there's actually steel uh, threads down here, so no eyedropper action for you guys. There's also steel threads here, so it's steel on steel, which is kind of unusual. So, so one of the reasons why I chose this pen to start with is because it's a converter pen, and if you wanted a converter pen from Mont Blanc, it was either this or the 147, which is kind of a rare pen to find. So that's why I got this pen. And looking at the nib, you know, it can't really see whether you, I'm not sure whether it will be made out from the, the camera. You know, I, to be honest, I can hardly read it myself, but it just says 4810, which, which is actually the height of the Mont Blanc uh, in Switzerland is strange because this is a German brand pen and underneath you get the feed which you know doesn't look anything special but it's just a normal feed by the way this is uh, this pen is actually in medium so before I write with it uh, this being the Chopin version which I got it came in a box like this and there was actually a CD that was supposed to be included, but I lost it. So that's how the pen, you know, came in just like that. There's a nice guide down here that shows um, how to use the pen as well as some literature about the world of Mont Blanc. So writing with the pen, just make sure that the it's in the middle down here. It, even though it's a medium, by the way, I've I've inked up this pen with Mont Blanc Mystery Black. You know, I thought it was fitting to kind of ink the, ink this with a Mont Blanc ink. So this is the Mont Blanc 145 um, and this is the Chopin um, I think it's Homage Frederic Chopin uh, it's in medium so quick writing sample So it's, it's very smooth, it's almost buttery smooth or glass smooth and it's very wet, right? Um, maybe it's a consequence of the, the ink or maybe it's the nib but it's, it's a very wet writer. Definitely cannot use this with anything other than you know fountain pen friendly inks. Um, for medium it is pretty thick right so it's kind of like a European medium right um, and you know generally it's a very nice writing experience I going back to the, the thing about the cap is I would think that for me to kind of use this pen I would definitely need to use the cap right so ba basically um, it has to be posted in order to, to kind of write properly with it at least for my me and once I post it you can feel the weight resting on the web of my my hand and it's reasonably comfortable to write for long periods 
So that was my very quick look for the Mont Blanc. Um, bringing back the box so I can read it. It's the Homage uh, Fabric Chopin model. Um, my thoughts about this pen is that it's a very nice pen. Um, you know, I didn't buy it uh, brand new, and I think for a pen that's, you know, of this writing capability for the price that I paid, which was roughly about uh, $200 US, right? I think it's it's worth it, right? To kind of get a taste of Mont Blanc and what it means. Um, brand new, I'm not so sure whether or not uh, it would be worth it to kind of purchase this pen. Um, so maybe it would be interesting to get the thoughts from the viewers. What would, what would you think? Because I think brand new, this pen would probably cost like easily two or three times the price that I paid for it. So I'll be interested to know what uh, you guys think. Um, you know, which was your first Mont Blanc pen and which is the pen that you liked uh, to kind of enjoy using from the Mont Blanc series of pens. Um, and any other comments are welcome and I will see you in the next video. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.